Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's my great honor to be here and give you a short speech. I'm Hai Dong Zhao. I come from the second affiliated hospital of Dalian Medical University, China. My research is focus on lymph node metastasis mechanism of breast cancer, precise targeting during breast cancer surgery, and uh, breast cancer-related uh, lymphedema pathogenesis. Today, I'd like to say something about uh, real-time near infrared fluorescence imaging mediated by blue dye in breast cancer patients. My topic uh, are focus on uh, four parts. Firstly, introduction. Nowadays, along with the development of uh, technology, near infrared uh, fluorescence imaging is highly sensitive and uh, non-invasive technique, which is simple to operate, inexpensive, and has a real-time capability. NIR fluorescence imaging is increasingly being used in the diagnosis and the treatment of carcinomas, such as breast cancer, gastrointestinal carcinoma, gynecological carcinoma, head and uh, neck cancer. Our study focuses on breast cancer. Several studies uh, have showed that NIR fluorescence imaging has the potential to improve the sentinel lymph node procedure by facilitating percutaneous and uh, intraoperative identification of lymphatic channels and uh, SLNS. As for fluorophor, uh, in the Sinai green is currently being validated clinically as the only NIR fluorophor. However, we find that methylene blue is a fluorophore, which emits light in the NIR range 700 nanometer after being excited. This is a picture of fluorescence from methylene blue. As far as we concerned, fluorescence from methylene blue has a relatively higher penetration into living tissue, up to 10 mm, because methylene blue does not bind to albumin. As for study design, participants of the study, including 18 to 80 years old, women who were diagnosed with early breast cancer also clinically uh, know the negative. Previous history of breast surgery, sentinel lymph node puncture, injury and skin ulceration of the breast, pregnancy breast cancer, inflammatory breast cancer, a cut breast cancer, hypersensitivity to methylene blue. People who have liver, heart, or kidney failure were excluded. The equipment used in our study was the NIR fluorescence imaging system. It consists of two parts. First, a handheld held NIR probe, which utilizes a light spectrum with wavelengths between 
650 and 850 nanometer. Second, monitor, which displays dynamic video of lymphatic drainage flow in real time. Our research have four steps. Firstly, participants receive a specific dose of methylene blue injection at the subarealar or peritumoral region. Secondly, timekeeper starts and gives the injection sites gentle massage. Thirdly, draw the lymphatic drainage pathway and identify sentinel lymph nodes by following the fluorescence linear signal. Lastly, make an incision to start the sentinel lymph node biopsy. Let's see the video. NR fluorescence imaging mediated by methylene blue uh, provides both preoperative guidance with fluorescence and intraoperative direction with blue dye dyed lymphatic. Surgeons identify SLN easily with the assistance of NIR fluorescence imaging system. Besides, SLN biopsy, NIR fluorescence imaging also could improve SLN mapping. In summary, we found that there are four different types of phenomena. Type A is the most common pattern. A direct drainage from areolar to axillary nodes without any branches.
in Type B patients, we found that lymphatic drainage flow from injection sites to the axilla after integrating with subarealar lymph collecting vessels. The above process can be seen through our video. As for type C patients, which was usually found in patients with upper inner quadrant tumor, showed that lymph flowed to the internal memory and or infraclavicular regions as the first station, eventually reached the axilla. And we could see that in our video.
last. Our study suggested that different lymphatic drainage pathway from the areola or peritumoral region to the axilla. We could see that in our video. According to our research, we think that NIR fluorescence imaging has the potential to improve SLN mapping of breast cancer. As we see, type A and type B reflect the anatomy of the lymphatic system. As we know, sentinel lymph node is defined as the first node or nodes to which lymph drainage and metastasis from breast carcinoma occur. Based on our findings, we have several questions. Is it a proper aid to do axillary lymph node biopsy and dissection for type C patients? Second, the existing standard method for SLN biopsy is a dual method, including subarealer injection of radiocolloid and peritumoral injection of blue dye. Type D showed different drainage pathway from areola or peritumoral region to the axilla, which could explain the superiority of dual method. Question. Could the combination of sub and peritumoral insection be a better method for SLN biopsy. At last, based on our research, we concluded NIR fluorescence imaging mediated by blue dye has benefits on the identification of lymph vessels, the location of SLN, and the patterns of breast lymphatic flow. However, further studies are required to solve existing problems and investigate lymphatic drainage patterns. Our study requires further research, and we highly appreciate your suggestions. Thanks for your listening. Thank you.